Welcome, one and all, to Pacific 4 and 4 episode reviews, thoughts, and reactions. I am your host, Mike, and in this episode, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and reaction to the first Contact Day trailers for Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Lower Decks, and Star Trek Picard, as well as the, the teaser poster that we got for Star Trek Prodigy. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with First Contact Day, First Contact actually occurs in the year 2063 in the Star Trek universe. It's April 5th, 2063. That's when Zephyrin Cochran makes his warp flight and it catches the attention of the Vulcans who are out gallivanting through the galaxy at the time and they land on Earth and we have our first alien contact and that occurs in Bozeman, Montana and you see those events occur in the movie Star Trek First Contact which came out 25 years ago in November so if you've never seen it watch it and it's a good movie and I highly recommend it so Basically, what Paramount and CBS have been trying to do is they've been trying to create their own May the 4th. You know how May the 4th is centered around anything and everything Star Wars? Well, CBS and Paramount are trying to do that around Star Trek. But here's, here's the big difference. Star Wars has a large following. Yes, some of that following is degrading because of recent events. You know, the firing of Gina Carano. I stand with Gina Carano, by the way. And, you know, a few other rumors that have been going about. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows their rumors. But, you know, with recent actions taken by Lucasfilm... And having a pet rock as one of your main characters, well, I don't know, that that popularity tends to fade. So, Star Trek, which popularity started to fade after 2005, and it was honestly at its golden age back in the, the 90s when you had Next Generation, DS9... You know, Voyager all happening. And, you know, you have people clamoring to go to Star Trek conventions, myself included. And, you know, it was fun to go to the conventions, talk with other fans about their favorite episodes of the original series, Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, meet actors like Michael Dorn and Major Barrett. And Renee Bergeois, and you know, listen to actors like Jonathan Frakes, William Shatner. Which, when I actually went to the convention that he was at, and it was down in San Diego, you know, he just kept going on and on and on about various different subject matters. And at one point, I noticed more than one person looking at their watch, like, uh, Bill, uh, we gotta go, man. It's getting late. Kids gotta go to school in the morning. But, you know, Star Trek it isn't where it was back then. Yeah, some people might say that Discovery and Picard and Lower Decks are popular, but really, you know, if your merchandise gets canceled by McFarlane Toys before it even goes into production because, you know, people are upset about the look and feel of the current series, then you know you have a problem. But that doesn't seem to stop Paramount CBS, whose stock has been crumbling and it's not a rumor that's a fact and they still pump money into shows like discovery which look like they're 
going to have another crisis of the season going on this time. It's a five light year on anomaly. You know, we saw them wearing different uniforms. Well, should it say different uniforms? It's the same uniforms that we saw at the end of season three. Although this time, instead of it being gray with a stripe depicting the department that that particular person is involved in now it's red with a black stripe yellow for black stripe navy blue for black stripe and so on and so forth but it looks like it's gonna be another crisis of the galaxy galactic crisis and very little exploring because discovery can't do that supposedly because of strange new worlds wrong DS9, Voyager, Enterprise all did it. And Deep Space Nine still did it while Next Generation was in its last two seasons. So don't tell me you can't have two Star Trek shows boldly going where no one has gone before. You can't. It's been done. But, you know, Discovery looks like it's going to be more of the same, more crying, you know, more holding hands, more talking about, you know, our emotions and i i know myself and i know someone's gonna say well then why are you talking about it i don't intend on reviewing any of these series i'm i'm done with new trek but because i still care about star trek i'm gonna talk about it and since this is one of the subject matters i do talk about on this channel i'm gonna make a video about it so, you know, Discovery looks like it's going to be more the same. It really hasn't progressed at all. And Picard, well, we got a teaser that Q's coming back. And the last time we saw Q was in the Voyager episode Q2, where his son wreaked havoc with the Voyager crew. So... You know, it'll actually be the first reunion between Q and Picard that we know of since All Good Things. So, you know, I I don't know. Is that supposed to give me hope? Is throwing in the tablet from The Reckoning, the Deep Space Nine episode where Jake and Kira are possessed by Paul Rafes. Well, I should say that it was... I believe it was Jake that was possessed by a prophet, and it was Kira that was possessed by a Paul Rafes. I could have it switched around now that I think about it. But are we going to have an appearance by Captain Sisko? Or are they just teasing it because one of the things that you get from this trailer is that it's about time? Now, don't get me wrong, I love time travel stories as much as the next guy. But even I can admit, time travel stories have been done to death. And it, it's time to move on. Yes, we know Q has the ability to just snap his fingers and send someone forward and backward in time. And, you know, even give them an alternate future. Well, maybe he can snap his fingers and get us back to proper Star Trek, which was 1966 to 2005. Instead of J.J. Abrams, Alex Kurtzman, bad reboot, secret hideout, Star Trek. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. There are people who enjoy current Star Trek more than they enjoy classic Star Trek. But you can't have classic Star Trek and get new Star Trek. If you're going to have a series and call it Star Trek, at least uphold to star trek's values which is actually having characters that are respectful of each other and not you know always making a dig at each other and you know saying oh you're a man you're useless you're a woman you're useless no 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 you know especially in the next generation going into you know deep space nine and voyager it was all about how people were able to work together no matter what their sex was didn't matter if you're a woman didn't matter if you're a man you were able to work together they even 
you know, had those same themes in the 1960s. And I know there's going to be someone that's going to argue, yeah, but the women wore mini skirts. It was the style of the time. It was the 60s, the 1960s. Beehive hair, hairdos and go-go boots and short skirts. What do you expect? Of course, they're going to reflect something of the fashion sense of the time, but the philosophical ideas that they reflected were something that you know you didn't see on television that much at the time. And that's what made Star Trek groundbreaking. That's what made it revolutionary was its forward-thinking ideas. One where we do get along, where we're not constantly at each other's throats and bickering over stupid crap. And, but you don't see that in current Star Trek. Instead, you got characters that like to talk over each other like they do in Lower Decks. In Lower Decks, it's Rick and Morty, a show... I can't get into I never have been able to get into it. It's not that funny in my opinion. And honestly, I don't like high squealy voices and I don't like it when characters are talking over each other where you don't know who's saying what. And it's just not my idea of fun. And, you know, just like with Picard, Lower Decks is going to make one reference after another. And same with Discovery. You know, throwing discovery there into the mix too but you know you, you can you know throw in references all you want but if it has no purpose has no meaning it's not going to amount to anything and that's what you're going to get more from lower decks and i don't care that it's been renewed for season three because i won't be watching season two or season three but i am going to comment on the trailers because like i said i still care about star trek and I just want to comment on it since that's one of the subject matters I talk about on this channel. Besides baseball, it's also pop culture and what I hold dear and what so many others hold dear. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is Star Trek Prodigy. We didn't really get any kind of trailer for that we didn't even get a trailer for strange new worlds but for prodigy we did get a still of cgi janeway holding her coffee cup well you know you can't have janeway without her coffee you gotta make sure that it's hot you gotta make sure that it's in her favorite mug and you know in the year of hell that favorite mug of hers well it went through hell and hopefully this show is in hell for little kids because I'm sorry, at seven years old, I was already watching Star Trek. I didn't quite understand everything that was going on at first, but as I grew older, I began to understand what Star Trek was talking about. And that's the original series. That's before I got into Next Generation. I got into the original series first, even though Deep Space Nine is my favorite series of all the spinoffs. You know, the original series had a start it planted the seed the other series just provided the nutrients but yeah it looks like it's gonna be more of the same from kurtzman and crew and thank god i'm not gonna be reviewing it because after reviewing season three of star trek discovery i said i will not put myself through this anymore but that's my take on the trailers and what's coming up for Discovery, Picard, Lower Decks, and Prodigy. And for those of you that like those series, well, then enjoy. For someone like me, I can't wait for Season 3 of The Orville. So, this has been Mike for Pacific 4 and 4 episode reviews. And I will see you all later. Take care.